Noob Noob, how many licks would it take for you to hate Velma? Negative three licks, but let's give it a go anyway. One, two, three. Nah, that's right, friends. It's our reviews will kill you, and we are gonna talk about why Velma A should be canceled. It's and pure cancer. <laughs> straight up cancer. I don't think leukemia could save it. No. It shouldn't. But could tuberculosis. Our uh, TB is the worst. Is it though? TB12 worse though than is Velma. the best. The worst than Velma. TB12 or TB? Yeah, all of the above. I don't know. Anyway, I have gotten through at this point four. You count them. Four episodes of Velma. I have gotten through four, count it, four minutes <laughs> of, Velma. of Velma before I immediately started shitting in the bathroom. <laughs> you just ran From straight pure to angst the bathroom. and anger. Yeah, apparently it's the one thing that has united everyone on the entire internet is how much they hate Velma. I would love for someone to see Mindy Kaling on the street and then punt her right in the uterus. <laughs> Just destroy her uterus. Full blown like field goal kick punt her in the uterus. Yes, she has single handedly destroyed the Scooby Doo franchise for everyone forever. It has been demolished and ruined. Apparently, Velma is now the third worst rated TV show in IMDb history. It should be the first. I'm curious what the other two are, but that's only after two episodes or after four, four episodes. It should be the worst ever. Yes. They did not change anyone's mind. In fact, the two right now it sits at a 1.3 rating. Um, pretty interesting. It should be a 0. 0.0. 0. <laughs> Especially if they, if they pull the zero. move that we're suspecting, then it should be burned to the ground immediately. <laughs> so the, the things that are beating her are things I've never heard of. Pogmentary, a documentary about football Paul, a footballer Paul Pogba that seems to be rated low based on people hating Paul Pogba. Okay. <laughs> Who's that? Don't know. Don't know. Ista Bu Betum Musalem, 1.2 out of 10. Something about the rise of a Turkish teen star that a very specific group of people appear to have gotten together to hate. So these are not real shows. <laughs> these are not movies. real shows. Yeah. The, here's the funny. <laughs> this one's pretty funny. Oh. <laughs> these next two are pretty funny. Uh, a Little Late with Lily Singh, 1.4 out of 10. A YouTuber attracted a lot of hate ratings for her now canceled series. Yes. And then probably one of the most vile things ever put out on ever, and it's also on HBO Max, Santa Inc., which is 1.6 out of 10. Is that the Seth 10. Rogen one? Correct. Seth Rogen and Sarah Silverman, who both clearly hate Santa Claus and Christians. <laughs> so, yeah, those are pretty big. I mean, you even you're even in the same company. It it beat it's 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 beating out. Here comes Honey Boo Boo and keeping up with the Kardashians. Oh, God. I mean, come a- on, people. Yeah. Yes, everyone in the world hates the show. Mostly because it's everything you could think of that is terrible. It's not funny. It's woke propaganda. It's not. It, it's so woke that people think it's a right wing show to make fun of the left. I uh, which no. is ridiculous. It just brings anger and hatred to me. It brings anger and hatred to everyone. Also, it's not, why are you using, if you didn't use the name Velma, literally 0.0 people would watch this show. Correct, because it's essentially a self-insert by Mindy Kaling. Stole name recognition just for people to watch the show and then hate her for it. And Scooby-Doo is not even in the show. There is no dog. Like if this was just the Mindy Kaling show, then it would be canceled immediately. There are rumors that there will be an appearance by a Scooby-Doo. Blooby-Doo. Blooby-Doo. We don't know what it is. We won't comment on Blacky it until do. it happens. If it happens, we guarantee you we will have a video to comment on that. Yep. That could be possibly the worst, most racist thing I've ever heard of in a long, long time. But we'll hold on to it. Velma. This is from... And get to remember, this is from Forbes talking about Velma being the worst show. This is from The Atlantic. The line that Velma crossed. The real problem 
is its attitude towards viewers. The real problem is everything. The adult-oriented Scooby-Doo spinoff, it's just not good. It's not at all. Yeah, they talk about Fred, who's played by Glenn Harrington, who actually I think does a good job. He doesn't sound like Glenn Harrington. He gets shot in both legs after they oh, does say he really? that he has white privilege. Oh, no. Yes, yeah, so he gets shot by two lesbian cops. Oh, yeah, who are apparently lesbian cops or the only good stereotype about lesbians is, is that they're good detectives or something. I but remember they're that. not good detectives. Uh, it, Fred is such a terrible white person that he thinks Velma's the maid or something. Like, I remember that part. Yeah, there's that part. I, it, there's just so much wrong with this show. <laughs> Yeah, it's just so mean, and they, like, the plot is incoherent, and... Daphne is Asian. Yeah, and she hates the fact that she has orange hair that looks like buffalo wings. I mean, all of it is just, like, <clears throat> good googly moogly, this show is bad. Yeah. Now, you could, again, you could get away with it if it wasn't Scooby-Doo, but this has nothing to do with Scooby-Doo. At all, it does, you're just using name recognition. Yeah, absolutely. What are they actually solving mysteries? Like, what's the point of this show? She's trying to solve her mom's murder, a mystery, or disappearance. We, or she, her mom disappears, but they can't make it clear whether or not she was murdered or she just disappeared. Nobody knows. And then in the is, that's not even the f <clears throat> the front. Like that plot keeps getting forgotten. As they go along in the show, it's supposed to be the overarching plot, but it keeps getting forgotten. Is it getting forgotten in the interim of her having weird sex hallucinations? Yes, weird sex hallucinations. She's bi, she's gay, she's straight, she don't know. It's it's all very, very... It's it, And they're all underage teenagers, right? So they keep talking about... Yeah, they're about, in high school. Yeah, so they, but it would be one thing to have like sex jokes about teenagers, but these are like, they have them naked. And then they make a joke about like, ha ha, look how edgy we are because we're all naked. Ha ha ha, so funny. Uh, I told you there was actually one joke that I laughed at. Oh yeah, it wasn't, was it wasn't joke. said, it was written. It was a written joke. So there is a, they're, they're talking about, uh, th there's all these murders. They, th this was weird is you, th they claim the overarching plot is Velma trying to find what happened to her disappearing mom. But in reality, there is a there's a series of murders that happen at their high school where these popular hot chicks have their brains scooped out or whatever. But that plot is like only kind of secondary to everything else, even though everyone gets put in jail wrongly for committing no crimes. They haven't saw the, the one thing I want to there is not one clue. They have not in four episodes. There has not been a single clue that they have found towards solving the murders. Is that not the purpose of, of Scooby-Doo? Is to find clues? It is. They have not found one clue. There's no monster. There's no nothing chasing them. They don't even know anything about the killer. They know nothing. Um, but I was gonna, oh, okay, here's the one written joke. One written joke, folks. They're, all the girls are being required to have a self-defense class because it's girls getting murdered, so they have a self-defense class taught by the lesbian police officers. And there's a, a there's a thing on the on the on a board. There's a whiteboard, and on the board it says uh, self-defense for women or something like that, not just kicks to the groin. And then underneath of it it says, but it's mostly kicks to the groin. And I I kind of laughed at that. I, I chuckled. Like, ha, ha, ha. That's as good as it gets, folks. That's as good as it gets. Why everyone hates Velma? This is also on Forbes. I mean, people are just going hard. It's a Scooby-Doo reimagination that doesn't it's have Scooby-Doo. It's not a Scooby-Doo anything. Yeah, their personalities don't match anything. Like, you know how Daphne was kind of like, oh, the damsel in distress and like kind of klutzy and would like fall into traps all the time and get captured? She's not She's now addicted to danger. That's what, that's her, she, they broke with canon to make her addicted to danger. Now they haven't shown that in any of the first four episodes. They just tell you that she's addicted to danger. Just who's not addicted to dick? Uh, she's not because she's also addicted to scissoring. Is she a lesbian? Yeah, she starts making out with Velma. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. Now we did look in our previous episode in our, in our live podcast, you can see it. We did a, re a review of the first couple episodes. The audience score is currently at 6%. The, uh, the critic score is at 50%. There is 
a distinct possibility that Velma will be renewed. Now, this is just a rumor. Renewed for season two. I already Because it had numbers because so many people watched the first two episodes. Now, what I don't necessarily agree about this is if you had a show that you thought was going to be successful, but it was created to have 24-minute episodes, why would you release two at a time if you thought it was going to be popular? I don't know. Wouldn't you just release them out at episodes like 45 minutes at a time? You would think. Of? But they deliberately wrote it where the show is 24 minutes. It's an episodic show. I think it's nine or ten episodes. Unfortunately. So it seemed like HBO Max was just trying to dump this as fast as possible. They did claim that it was the highest rated show, uh, animated show on HBO Max. They canceled all their other shows. There are Except no other Harley shows. Except Harley Quinn. Yeah, but that they're not talking. They're they're talking about like currently. Oh, uh, okay. So Harley Quinn's not out anymore, right? They're waiting for an official announcement. I think there's a lot of people who are vaguely interested to see how bad it was. But once it gets through, like like I said, the, the first two episodes would have been okay if it had been something that was not Scooby Doo. It was something totally different. Not that it was funny, but like you could get away with it. Like, oh look, it's. Mini Kaling in teen drama. Okay, whatever. Fine. Mini Kaling's murder mysteries. Whatever. Yes. Right? You could have gotten away with it. It would be funny, but you could have gotten away with it. But you can't get away with, you crazy kids, with calling it Scooby-Doo. You just can't. It's just not, it's, it's not that. It's not. It's, it's, it's sad, dude. They're claiming that it's the biggest premiere day for any HBO Max original animated series. There are no other animated series that canceled all of them. So I think what, because I watched episodes three and four and they were virtually unwatchable. There's no point to this show. <clears throat> There's I no reason to renew it. People, they're going to stop watching at some point. They're yes. just, it's not good enough. If they do what they're going to do to Scooby, I swear to God, I'm going to burn this mother down. I'll burn it down. You go to Minden Kaling and tell her stop being a naughty girl. I will shove donuts in her mouth until she becomes fat again. Maybe yes, that'll make her better. She's thin and thinks she's hot. She's not. She doesn't even look like Minnie Kaling. She had so much work done, it's not even Minnie Thinly Kaling. Thinly Kaling. It's scary. I don't know what's going on. You should yeah. take out some pictures of that, folks. But anyway, I think that wraps it up for us. Tell us, do you hate Velma? Are you going to continue to watch You should watch hate it? Velma. Watch the old Scooby-Doo instead. Yeah, don't watch this. Watch the live. I don't care what you watch. Anything of any Scooby-Doo is better than this. What if there's another person in it that is scrappy? That is a person and not a dog. Uh, let's not think dark thoughts. What if she has like a cousin that's a little tiny Indian Let's be positive. That is scrappy. Let's be positive. Oh my gosh. I think people will murder. But anyway, let us know what you think down below. Be sure to catch our live full-length audio podcast. It is free on Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, all those places. You can catch it there. Please subscribe. We'd appreciate it. You can also catch the live stream Friday nights, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on YouTube. And you can also catch everything that we do on this channel on Rumble as well. So we appreciate your support there. So keep it up. Keep coming. We love you all. Thank you so much for watching. But we are on to the next one.